Well, my very first item of business is that I have nothing to turn on. Uh, I do not own a TV set. Uh, I have not owned a TV set now for about 12 years. And uh, I'm one of very few people I know without a TV. Uh, and I find it very happy living. Um, so uh, I don't watch any of the financial channels. I don't watch the news. I get my news from the Wall Street Journal. Uh, and I get them, of course, from the internet because it's a huge source of uh, the news. Uh, but I find that uh, TV is, uh, everybody is watching the same tube and getting happy at the same time, which is at the top, and getting depressed at the same time, which is at the bottom. Uh, to me, the volume of positive or negative news is directly correlated to the state of the market. If this market goes up a thousand points, the news is going to become better and people are going to buy more. And if it goes down a thousand points, the news is going to become darker and people are going to sell more. And when they're selling, I want to buy. And when they're buying, that's when I want to sell short. So do you follow the news and do you take it into account at all into your current trading when you're doing it intraday? Well, uh, I follow the news insofar as uh, uh, Chairman of Federal Reserve testifies uh, on the Hill. Uh, he's going to say something. Uh, uh, there is a major earnings release. Uh, there is a major release of uh, news and, and employment reports or capacity utilization. So uh, I'm very careful to check out those specific numbers news that are coming out. Numbers, I want to know. But as far as the news that some, you know, another poor guy lost his job and another poor woman is being evicted, this is just creates kind of a dark background which slants people towards one way. And are there any times when you would avoid trading altogether because you know, for instance, that your the stimulus vote would be coming? Would you avoid trading altogether? Well, um, buy the rumor and sell the news. Uh, but if there is a, most news are leaked uh, before becoming public. And I think that if there is an important something coming up, uh, you know, Congress is going to vote on something. You know, by the way, that if, if the staff of Congress members uh, trades on the information which they received in the course of hearings, that is not considered insider trading. Minor but curious detail. So things tend to leak. Uh, but if something is coming up and I don't get a sense which way they're going, I will step aside. I mean, I think that standing aside when situation is unclear is a completely legitimate position. A trader can be long, short, or stand aside. And standing aside is the only position in which I never lost a dollar.